All right, welcome to my Ash Williams Bundle gameplay and review video. So obviously I have this early. I am an Epic partner and Epic Games did send me the entire bundle one day early to do a full gameplay and review. So first and foremost, shout out to Epic Games. Obviously without them, I wouldn't be able to do this. I appreciate it wholeheartedly. Secondly, this comes to the item shop tomorrow, October 22nd. So the standard item shop reset time, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. So what do you get in this bundle? Well, of course, the iconic Ash Williams skin. And the description says, Ashley Joanna Williams, Deadite Enemy number one. So he comes from the Evil Dead franchise. If you've never seen the Evil Dead, it's a multi-series franchise. The first one, which I think was in 1981, is really scary. It's got a low budget, so it's kind of corny especially now in today's age, but it was truly scary. I couldn't watch it because I'm afraid of scary movies like that, but I highly recommend the channel Dead Meat by James A. Janice. He does these awesome kill count breakdowns. You should watch all of them on The Evil Dead. He basically summarizes the entire movie for you. It's incredible and it's so entertaining and it's not scary. He can make the scary movies not scary. Anyway, Ash Williams is the hero of all the Evil Dead movies. Like I said, the first one's truly a horror film. The other ones are more of comedy. So basically they find this book, the Book of the Dead. And if you do an incantation, it brings the evil spirits out, the forest comes alive. Anyone that gets possessed by the evil spirit will die and turn into what they call a deadite. And that's why they refer to him as deadite enemy number one, because the deadites keep trying to kill him. Now in the first one, the only way to kill a deadite is by chopping them up. And the chainsaw does make an appearance in the first one, but more so his shotgun is prevalent. So we'll talk more about that in just a second. So this is what the skin looks like. You can see he's seen better days. That's because he gets terrorized by all the deadites in the movie. And even the trees in the forest and everything outside the cabin that he goes to tries to attack him. So that's why he's all tattered and torn. So the actor that plays Ash William is Bruce Campbell, and they did a phenomenal job of replicating what he looks like. Look how... Perfect, that is. That looks just like Ash Williams from the movies. Amazing. So his back bling is the coveted boomstick, a.k.a. the shotgun. Let's go to that real quick. And it's literally called the boomstick. It says two barrels are better than one. So you may notice that it looks a little shorter than a typical shotgun would. And that's because it's a sawed off shotgun. So I'll explain that in just a second. But you can see it's pretty standard, just in a black sheath of sorts. And you can see the barrel sticking out. That's it. But like I said, in Evil Dead 1, he used the shotgun a lot. He uses it in all the other movies as well. Now, the real highlight is the pickaxe, the chainsaw hand. And as you can see, it does go on his hand. So unfortunately, as you can see on the bottom, it says it's only equipable by Ash Williams. No other skin can use this. Let's just verify that. I'm sure it's 100% true, but we'll put this skin on. Yes, and then it turns into a default pickaxe. That's a bummer. So the description on this one says groovy. And that's exactly what he says in The Evil Dead Part 2. So what happens is his girlfriend unfortunately gets possessed, turns into a deadite, and then bites his hand. So later on in the movie, he has to chop his own hand off. And that's because it got possessed due to the bite. So he chops his hand off, and then later on in the movie, he goes out to the shed of the cabin, gets a chainsaw, and puts it on his hand, just like you see here. And then he repeats that iconic quote. He says, groovy. So that's how he acquires the chainsaw. It's incredible. And then, of course, he uses the chainsaw throughout the movie as his weapon of choice. Now, back to the shotgun back bling, because throughout the movie, he's using a normal shotgun. However, once he acquires his chainsaw hand, he uses it to chop the barrel off the shotgun, thus turning it into a sawed off shotgun, which is what you see right there. Really, really cool that they put all these details into this skin and accessories. So he also comes with an emote called It's a Trick. So at first I thought it was going to be a built-in emote to put the chainsaw on his hand for the pickaxe, but that's not the case. So let me show you what it is and then I'll tell you what it's about. Here we go. Okay, so the description says there's something down there. So this is in reference to at least the first and second movie. I think it's from the first one because his sister in the first one gets possessed, turns into a deadite, and they lock her underneath the cabin in the cellar. 
So she reaches out and tries to grab his hand and he smushes it in, jumps on it, and then they eventually lock her down there. She breaks out later in the movie, but I'm pretty sure this is his sister from Evil Dead 1. But it's a nice emote and of course anyone can use this, not just him. Let me just double check that. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Yeah, it's not just for him. So that's really cool. So there's no glider and there's no wrap. I'm just gonna leave these defaults that I have on the Wolf Hunter and the Hot Ride. He's a pretty standard character. There's no animation, there's no glow. He's got a deep denim blue shirt and yeah, pretty bland colors. He does have red on the pickaxe, so you could use any sort of red glider or wrap. All right, let's hop into a match and see how he plays out. Here we go. So in the trailer for Fort Nightmares 2022, it showed Ash Williams, that's how we knew he was coming, but it showed him raising his chainsaw up, so I thought for sure there was gonna be an emote, or a built-in emote, and I don't think so. As far as I can tell, there isn't any. So I wonder why they showed that at the start. It was kinda a tease, if you will. All right, here we go. This is Ash Williams, let me spin him around real quick. Like I said, a phenomenal job at replicating what Bruce Campbell looks like in real life. The Evil Dead Ash Williams character is finally represented. This is good. Real clean, super low key, doesn't stand out. I love it. So here's the It's a Trick emote in game. You can see it does produce a red glow. It's actually kind of cool. <laughs> I love it. So as for the back bling, it would have been cool if they allowed it to be interactable with shotguns. But sadly, when you pull out a shotgun, it still remains in the sheath back there. Now, obviously, there's no sawed off shotgun in the game. But if there were, it'd be really cool if it was interactable with that back bling. Pretty low key character, though, like I said, the best part of the entire bundle is the pickaxe. So here's the pull out. You can see it just literally attaches to his hand. You can see he pulls the chain with his teeth? Maybe? Or is he doing it with his other hand? I don't know. It almost looks like he's doing it with his mouth. So you can see it does vibrate and it does make that startup noise and it clearly is attached to his hand. Here's the swing animation. Okay, so there's where I thought was the built-in emote. You can see after the one, two, three, so the third and fourth swing has him raising it with both hands, and that's where they pulled it from in the trailer. It's not an emote, it's just the swing animation, which is awesome. So as for a contrail, there's not really one. You can kind of see a little smoke contrail, but that's it. How about a splash? That's one of the coolest pickaxes in the game, 100%. Well, you get a few more sparks than normal, but other than that, it's the typical default splash. But there's definitely more sparks than normal. Really, really cool. So obviously the pickaxe is the highlight here, like I said. Just an incredible, iconic horror character in the game now with his iconic weapon of choice, at least in the Evil Dead 2. And I'm glad that they put the boomstick in there as well. So if you weren't aware, his cabin is actually on the map over here by the reality tree. Let's actually go over there real quick. So I'm pretty sure this is the cabin right here, the no buy cabin. It's like it's just southwest of Reality Tree. So I just rewatched the Evil Dead one. Let's see if his workshop, yes, this is where he gets the chainsaw right here, there it is. Hey, let's pickaxe it. Yes, that's awesome, right there. This is the workbench where he actually connects it to his hand. This is crazy. This is the first time I went here. So let's see. Is this the- Oh, gosh! Chop you up with my chainsaw. Why is the door already open? There he is, right there. So this is the moose head that in part two comes alive and starts laughing at him. Let's see if we can- What the? Ash Williams is defending me! Let's go! Oh boy, not you again, he says. And he sells a shotgun, are you kidding me? The clock, this is the clock that goes crazy. Where's the cellar at? There's the cellar right there. Can you go down there? <gasps> you can! Holy smokes, this is awesome. So this is where they find the Book of the Dead. 
A lot of stuff happens down here in part two. This is where they lock his sister in part one, though. Oh, man, this is amazing. What else we got in here? Any more creepy stuff? One of the bedrooms. Creepy picture right there. What's up, Ash? Looks like... What's that noise? What is that noise? That's freaking me out. Is it the trees? So in the movie, the trees attack him. I think it is the trees. Okay, I'm getting scared. Wow. All right. So uh, a lot of attention to detail here. Really cool. So there you go. That is Ash Williams. Highly recommended. Even if you've never seen The Evil Dead, this is a great, great skin. The best part about this skin, in my opinion, is that you can run it any time. Yes, he's an iconic Halloween character, but there's nothing that screams Halloween about him. The chainsaw is awesome. You can run this any time of the year. It's not like he's got certain color schemes or animations that specifically make him Halloween related. So you could run him year long and he's just a phenomenal skin. Of course, the chainsaw is the best part in my opinion. Nice emote, nice attention to detail from the movies. I love it. So there you go. I don't know how much he's gonna be, but he's coming to the item shop as of this video tomorrow. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Tabor Time.